kind of settle in. Take some bigger, deep breaths at the beginning. And you can continue with this. Your mind might wander, which again is totally cool. It's all a part of the meditation. You notice that, and the noticing is the, the key part, and then you can come back to your, your home base. What is the benefit of sitting in cross-legged or lotus position versus just like with your legs stretched out? Um, so there's no correct way, I'd say, to meditate, as far as I know. I'm not an expert, but um, it helps you sit more flat and so I was able to keep my back a bit more straight, but I also have done plenty of meditations like in bed, just lying down or on the grass. That lotus position is, is usually the way that people will meditate in uh, Hindu and Buddhist practices. What are some of the benefits of uh, meditation? The benefit really is being able to sit with yourself and not have distraction and either sit with your thoughts or be able to observe them and then move away from it and find this place of calm or this place of quiet. Lots of people talk about anxiety and depression um, being mitigated from that as well. For me, it allows me to be more present and to think a lot less because I'm thinking all day, every day. It allows me to kind of allow the world to go on around me without thinking about it all together that much. Yeah, if you could tell us about like yeah. how to come to your club. Yeah, yeah. So it is open to anyone and everyone. Um, students, non-students, faculty, or anyone is more than welcome to join. Even if you have no experience whatsoever uh, and you're curious, do come check it out. Everybody's really enjoyed it, so yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much for leading me in your meditation and allowing me to come in and be a part of it. It was beautiful and thank you to the little baby deer that joined us too. <laughs> Still <Hello>. there. <gasps> <Aww>. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you.